Hello guys, it's Shane Davis, 20 year comic book veteran coming at you with Yanti Lynn, the light of my life. Sometimes she has been known to make me a sandwich. Hello. Hi. And today's the day we're going to talk a little bit about a uh, Marvel comic artist, specifically Mark Brooks going off the deep end as the, uh, the, the, the comic industry is imploding. So here we go. So Mark Brooks is a uh, Marvel comic book artist. Actually, I think we kind of got going in uh, interiors at Marvel Comics around the same time working on a book, uh, a title called Marvel Age Spider-Man. So uh, I have known Mark for, for a few years at the talking at cons. And, uh, you know, um, he seemed like, a, OK, well-rounded guy at the time. But today he actually seems a little um, unnerved um, now. Before we get into it, please look down below, hit like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications as we do talk about the comic culture, we talk about pop culture, video games sometimes even. So please consider subscribing. It would be a nice Christmas gift from you to me. So here we go. Let's uh, waltz down this uh, this path of, ma of madness that uh, Mark Brooks finds himself on. <laughs> Tweets. There's a deep, dark, super bigoted corner of comics that I stepped into hmm. yesterday. It was depressing. They're pretty well shunned from the awesomeness that's comics. So gut the border and don't go into that corner. It's a very shitty set place where creativity goes to die. That's nice. He wants to um, gut the border. He wants to gatekeep, you know, just like mm. certain people. Mm -hmm. And the one thing they want more than anything else is to make you as sad and miserable as they are. The comics, as few of them as there are, aren't the point. They are poorly haphazardly made. They want your anger so they can make you blame others. It's a tactic as old as time. I'm going to pause you. Claims to, for someone who claims to have not read any comic gates comics, he sure seems to know a lot about the quality, doesn't he? Right. And uh, I was going to point that out. Actually, it, he's a very cryptic because he's afraid to say the unspoken. The word, he doesn't want to give us oxygen comics gate. That is in reference to what he's talking about being this dark, dreary, sad place where, uh, you know, comic go to die is basically what he's trying to say now um obviously he's using a lot of words you know a word salad to try to justify his point before he gets to his point so what is his point exactly i'm not really sure what is his point maybe we should just get through the word salad first and then we can decide mm. and he continues and listen i understand the guys leading the flock are embittered and angry they feel slighted by something they once loved but they never once thought it was their own behavior they blamed anything and everything else so they wouldn't have to take responsibility. So the hit Mark over here is saying that they won't have to take responsibility. Hello, I'm trying to understand here. What kind of responsibility can one single creator or even just a group of creators take exactly unless they somehow can take control of the IP itself? How can they take responsibility for the direction of corporate right. comics exactly? So I don't even know. Does he even know what he's talking about? This is obviously someone who has not done interiors. You know, he doesn't know what it's like to have to listen to editorial trying to tell you to... <laughs> And, oh, um, here, draw this frame. What frame? And I can only take responsibility as a fan or as a comic artist for the books that I I have worked on. You know, so a lot of fans are upset with the state of X-Men. A lot of fans are upset with the state of Marvel and DC Comics right now. You know, DC right now basically using uh, gender politics or identity politics, whatever you want to call it, to basically sell uh, these characters because they don't have an interesting story because it's, the, look, it's the easy out. It's the lazy way to to get people talking about Superman, to get people talking about Robin, to have all these gay characters appear in one comic. And, oh, it's so brave and it's bold. Well, you know, Newsflash, there used to be a comic at DC Comics called Brave and the Bold, and it didn't rely on that type of shit to get people to care. All right. So, yes, for people mad in Comicsgate because like X-Men sucks because uh, Superman is uh, not really Superman anymore. It's not about the things that made the character, you know, uh, relevant, like the love triangle between, uh, you know, with Clark Kent, Superman and uh, Lois Lane. Those things were part of making that character what it is today. And those things are being torn apart. By cheap gimmicks, cheap gimmicks to sell, uh, to get quick sales, quick flashes in the pan and uh, stay alive. And, and these are all corporate decisions. This isn't even the same comics. It, it's uh, kind of unfair to compare comics from 20 years ago to comics today, because now all comics today are, um, you know, look through a corporate scope. Can it be a TV show? Can it be this? Whatever. 
you know so um comic skate is oftentimes made of a group of people that were fans uh you know from years past and they just don't like what they're seeing today and it's kind of a customer service movement now mark is sitting here trying to do anything and everything but either one blame the companies or two blame the creators he's trying to blame everybody else but and saying that you're you know um in basically b blaming people who are making books in comics gate like we're the reason that x-men sucks that's not true i'm not the reason superman sucks that's not true so anyways let's continue with mark's mouth and madness but they've made it their job to hurt others no one should abide that they are hurt people trying to hurt people well wow, that's a mouthful they'll always have my empathy but not my respect they need help. All oh, right, I, I want to call this out. You know, everyone would always say, oh, comics gay people, they're always, you know, sending out harassments and death threats and blah, blah, blah. And mm -hmm. when you ask for receipts, you show, they get shown this thing, which is basically what you cl classify as criticism. Criticism does not equal harassments, my friend. If you paid for a book, you're allowed to criticize it. I think that's what mm -hmm. it's known as, you know, a contractual obligation. After all, I mean, you pay for it, you are obligated on some level to let the company know whether you like the product or not so you know whether to make more or less of it um but you know if apparently if you voice your opinion this is the wrong opinion you're considered to be harassing the creators i mean that what he's talking about here is like the equivalent of me ordering a, a, a coffee from a barista and then once i take a mouthful i spit it out and say it tastes like shit and she's like how dare you i'm offended you're a yahtzee it's like, no, 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 I paid for it. It tastes like shit. I can say that, okay? It's like, this isn't, there's something called, and it's kind of a lost art form, on a, especially SJWs. It's called constructive criticism. And what constructive criticism means, as I walk up to you and I say, there's something on your nose, wipe your nose. And then an SJW in this situation would go, oh my God, that's hate speech. And I'm like, no, wipe your nose you have a booger on your nose again they're going to say they're going to double down and say that's what a yahtzee would say how dare you and it's like no i'm doing that for you because other people are going to see you have a fucking booger on your nose wipe your nose and that's all that it is and that, that's basically what a lot basically how comics gate and criticism on youtube towards the comic industry is now whether you comics gate or not if you criticize mainstream comics or a decision in mainstream comics a lot of people will say that sounds like comics gate well it actually it, it sounds like constructive criticism also those two things aren't you know exclusive to one another you know and and you're doing yourself if you're a comic book professional or if you're a corporate evil corporation mining comics for research and development off the back of creators you know you do yourself a favor if you understand that 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 criticism can be criticism and and you're doing yourself a disservice if you just say criticism is hate speech but anyways i think he's got one more tweet so mark has to end on a positive note and say help those that show signs of wanting help the rest you have to cut them off the only thing that will help is them finally realizing they're toxic and wanting to be better people it's a fool's errand, but anything is possible. So he basically says that if you are part of this group, you are toxic, and we need to learn to be better people, I guess, according to whom exactly. Right. Now, what triggered this today is uh, I, I, I kind of retweeted Mark on something like this. I basically called him out for being a, a person who, uh, you know, if you really cared about the mainstream comic industry, you'd be doing interiors to help out. Or is your interior rate too low? But hey, anything to get one more Marvel cover to draw, right? And uh, Brooks uh, then uh, resorted to uh, blocking me. And again, I, I will reiterate this because I would stand behind my words. Instead of a debate, Mark Brooks blocks and runs. Now, some people call this a fight or flight situation, guys. And obviously, flight was picked. Um, I think we can all agree SJWs practice uh, behavior. Or did I hit a little too close to home with the comment below? Now, the truth is, is Mark, for all his I love comics, I love comics, I hate comics, great gate, let me jump and start a Twitter fight. Why? Because he prospers from drawing maybe one, two covers a month, 
selling those originals for upwards thousands of dollars, sometimes maybe making up to five figures a month, just depending on if he kisses enough butt and gets the right covers to do in the American comic book industry. He actually doesn't put in hard work trying to make a monthly series and draw people to the comic shops month after month. Instead, he does one sheet of paper, the least amount of work, and tries to sell it off for the most amount. And, and I'm not going to really begrudge him as a business person for doing that. But for all his uh, wrist wringing he's doing about the, the state of the comic book industry and fandom and everything, he'd do the industry a lot better if he would just shut his mouth and maybe, maybe put in some elbow grease and do a monthly series at Marvel or DC Comics trying to up the American comic book sales. But instead... He would ver he he wants to virtue signal and try to get that sweet sweet Spider Man cover or that sweet sweet Daredevil or Batman cover or something like that original that he can sell from one of these corporations, but somebody who likes to point out that Mark himself actually again is contradicting himself and this is a, again a reaction to the state of the industry, whereas he was actually saying like hey everybody should be entitled to self publish do what you want and don't block blah 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 you want to give it a read. I love this industry so much, whatever. I love this industry so much, whether it's mainstream indie self publish whatever, everyone can be a part of it. We're all ambassadors for an awesome hobby. There are hmm. those that want to contra and block people from participating. Don't let them be awesome and hashtag go comics. Yeah, and well, our friend here tweeted and said, Hey, welcome to Comics Gate. Lots of indie creators and readers producing slash wanting good books and good customer service. We can all enjoy great comics together. But oh my God, that is so triggering that Mark Book Group has blocked him. So, right. That's nice. Right, right, right. Because see, at, what Mark's finding out to get that sweet, sweet cover to kiss that ass he has to he has to start throwing people up under the bus he has to say no there's no common ground this is absolutely he has to call people a hate group he has to do things like this to butter his own bread is he fair weather absolutely but you know that is to mark brooks we deserve that is to mark brooks we are given on that note if you will look down below hit like subscribe ring the bell for notifications please share this video help this channel out give us a sub if you have it please and also i got to say thank you thank you very much and glorious rex backers rolling in two hundred forty thousand dollars before the end of the year this is a campaign indie comic campaign Thanks to Mark Brooks, I'm allowed to do because I have his permission. Um, and thank you for your support. Mark Brooks actually says support indie comics. So thank you for the, the endorsement, Mark Brooks. Uh, maybe I'll call you for a cover if I give a But $240,000, thank you guys for your support. And uh, I launched this campaign, like, what, October? In effing saying love you guys and uh we'll catch you guys again with another video if i don't see you have a merry christmas this holiday season again love you guys uh. yeah 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 uh pardon me in my tone you can't step to my throne they ain't working like me did this on my own. You asking where we been? I, I don't know where to begin. I, all this dirt on my skin. I just came here to win. I'm more than a man, I'm a monster. Somebody call a pastor, doctor. I got a success for imposters. So now I'm coming for the whole roster. It's not a game, why you playing with me? You could double back, lose track, try and hang with me. It must be in my brains. Something you can't tame, cause I break the chains. I can't control me. I got the power.